Alright, everybody, hello and welcome to our WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 General Manager Mode. Of course, I am Dominic, new dog here on Bad Wrestling. Let's get into this, shall we? We got, we got GM Mode, dude. Oh my god, man. GM Mode? What? That's cool. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> actually, dude, I actually do really like GM mode. I do wish they had it for the newer games. And um, without further ado, let's just get into this. I played it before. I just made a new account for the bad wrestling stuff. Anyways, let's get into this. Draft new rosters, because of course we're doing that. Oh, wait, okay. Do we have Eddie Guerrero? Yes. Yes, we do. By the way, I know this is PS2 that we're playing this on. So, like, it might look really bad. But for some reason, it looks like worse for me than usual. Not entirely sure why. I don't know. That might just be a weird thing. But whatever, SmackDown or Raw, I am going to pick SmackDown. Mainly because cruiserweights can fight men and still have okay ratings. So, yeah. I know how this works. Oh, boom, we get the first draft pick. And of course, of course, I want to pick the legendary, legendary... Legendary Chris Benoit. No, okay, I'm not gonna do that. That's, that's, I'm not gonna make that joke. But yeah, I want to pick either Triple H or Shawn Michaels, because this can change the entire game. Shawn Michaels or Triple H. Triple H, he has like one of the highest overalls in the game behind Kurt Angle, and Shawn Michaels is cool. So I think I'm gonna pick Triple H for six months. God dang it, they got Kurt Angle as the guy I wanted. Wanted Kurt Angle for this, but yeah, we're gonna pick Triple H for the first person on the SmackDown roster. And we're gonna get Shawn Michaels too, because we can have D Generation X right there. They can have Eddie Guerrero. I am completely fine with that. Uh, but now let's get let's get Rey Mysterio. Because Rey Mysterio is gonna be our cruiserweight guy. They got Undertaker. I'm gonna have to pick the animal. Do I want the animal Batista? Do I want John freaking Cena? They're gonna have John Cena, actually. Let's have, him, let's have him for a three month contract. Okay, let's not waste all our money just yet. We only have six million. This is our fourth pick. I'm kind of trying to waste, not, I don't want to say waste, but I'm trying to like use a lot of my money now. And then, you know, so I, I can just build it back up later. That's what I'm doing. So, Edge, I want him to be our main stage heel in our roster. And then Randy Orton will be right behind him with the six months right there. They can have Lita. That's fine. They have Batista, Lita. Who cares? Now let's get to the mid carders. Okay, the mid carders is the part that that basically things start switching up and stuff. So do I want Rob Van Dam or Chris Benoit? I really don't know. I really don't know. I think I want to get Rob Van Benoit. Let's get let's get Benoit. Let's give him a three month contract right there. Oh, they got Rob Van Dam. You suck. I'm just gonna pick him. But they didn't. But now let's get some let's get some of the cruiserweights because we really kind of need cruiserweights, or else you know my mysterious is gonna be our champion all the time. But you know I guess that's fine. So, um, let's think of super, let's think of, not super crazy, the Cruiserweights as a, as their own main stage thing. Sort of thing. Like, as their own mid-card thing. What's going to be our three months? What's going to be our five-week contracts? I think Super Crazy, Chavo Guerrero, and Gregory Helms are going to be our main stage Cruiserweights. So, I'm going to give Super Crazy and Chavo three months and Gregory you can get five weeks that's fine with me um next we're gonna get oh psychosis because for some reason every time I play GM mode he usually does okay so psychosis him too it's fine why not now let's get Carlito because Carlito is like apparently God in this game it's ridiculous um who else do, who else do we want Johnny Nitro okay so I'm gonna do this Johnny Nitro is gonna be our guy this is our challenge for the remainder of general manager mode is to have Johnny Nitro be our main stage superstar. We're going to build him up to superstardom. That is my goal because Johnny Nitro is amazing and I love him. So yeah, but now we have to get some of them, some of the monster heels. Kane right there. Kane, Big Show or Umaga. We can get Umaga. As a, oh, no, 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 Del, let's use you. Yeah, let's use JBL first. Five weeks, they get Big Show. I mean, Umaga, yes, they did, but I'll take Big Show. It's fine. 16 Superstars is that good. Let's get one more. Let's get one more little pick. 
Okay, why not? Who do we want? Uh, do we, do we want Joey Mercury? Hold on, do they have Melina? They don't. We're gonna have Melina with the Johnny Nitro. Okay, Divas don't usually bring in ratings, but it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna continue on, ladies and gentlemen. We got 17 people. Oh, I should have got an even number of people to make this easier, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so. Uh, 17. I like to keep it sort of half and half with the clean and dirty faces, you know, the faces and the heels. The clean and dirty people. Oh, yeah, clean and dirty. That sounds hot, but still. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's get, let's do this. Uh, so, I kind of like to keep it half and half-ish. Um, so, there's 17 people. Let's get about, let's get about, you know, 9 and 8. Yeah, let's get about 9 and 8. 9 faces and 8 heels. Okay. Big Show, you're gonna be a heel. That's one. Carlito can be a heel. That's two. Chavo, I sort of want as a heel for the Cruiserweights. Yes. So that's gonna be three. Edge is gonna be heel, so four. Gregory, five. JBL, six. Johnny Nitro, seven. Eight. Oh, Molina, I guess, doesn't count. Molina doesn't particularly count in this sense. Because she's, like, gonna just be kind of paired with Johnny Nitro. And stuff and help him be popular that's sort of my goal um so yeah i guess it's okay hold on can we uh let's change one more person back to a face who do we want as a face instead of a heel because there's let me see one two three uh four five six seven eight nine Nine heels, and the heels will particularly bring in the ratings, I think. I would assume that the faces bring in more ratings. So, we're going to have... Who's going to be... It's going to be another top baby face on the top show of Friday Night Smackdown. Not as good as EPW or TRW, our current universe modes. But, you know. Still. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Let's make it... Let's make the guy... Chava Guerrero. Chavo Guerrero, if we ever get Eddie Guerrero, they can be a tag team. It's fine. So now, the world champion. Now, I'm going to pick a weird guy for my world champion. A weird guy. You guys are going to be like, why are you picking him? He doesn't deserve it. I'm going to give it to Randy Orton. Randy Orton, his popularity is now 83. That's why I do that. That's why I'm going to do that. Actually, no, no. Or is that a bad strategically thing? And then have Shawn Michaels be it, and then he'd be like over 90. We're going to have Sean be, yes, we're going to have Sean be the um, World Heavyweight Champion. Look at that. He's 93 popularity. That's great for our main event scene. But now we have the tag team um, peoples, and that's the question, isn't it? Who's going to be our tag team peoples? Now I'm thinking super crazy and psychosis. I'm thinking super crazy and psychosis. I don't know why. I'm sort of feeling them. I'm feeling them here. I'm feeling them out. They seem... Okay, worthy of the tag team champions. Maybe in a feud against Kane and Big Show since they are, they used to be tag team people. And it's fine. Carlito, now nah, we're going to have nobody be the United States champion and have that be the main event for the U.S. title. That would be a good main event there. We love, we love, superb. But now Cruiserweight champion. We're not going to give it to Rey Mysterio. I know that's really weird, but we're not going to give it to Rey Mysterio. I sort of want Rey Mysterio out of the Cruiserweight division for a little bit. It's kind of a weird thing, but Rey Mysterio, he's good and all, he's cool, but, like, if he wins that Cruiserweight Champion, no one else is going to win it, if, unless we do something about that. No one's going to win that, and I don't particularly want that. So who's going to be the Cruiserweight Champion? I'm, I'm Travel Guerrero or Gregory Helms. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Super Crazy and Psychosis, I already have a feud with Kane and Big Show in mind. Travel Guerrero and Gregory Helms, they can have a little feud over the Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio, you're fine. We're going to make Gregory Helms the Cruiserweight Champion. Because now, he has 59 uh, popularity. There you can see over here, popularity, and then overall. So yeah, let's get into this. Continue. Yes. Vincent Kenny McMahon here. I call the welcome to the Kenny McMahon. Oh crap, I'm breaking things. Opposing general manager. At the end of the year, I will review 
both shows current standing and the general manager that has the largest fan base will receive the coveted general manager of the year award. The loser will be fired. Good luck. Well then. That's some stuff that we should pay attention to. Um, let's not get fired. That's now our official goal. Because we don't want to be fired. Because being fired is bad for us. But yeah. Let's get into this. Yeah, it looks dark, doesn't it? That's weird. Why is it like a little darker? For like the screens and stuff. I thought that was just me. But it looks darker. That's weird. Anyways, let's just get into this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. let's get into this. Roster. We got the roster right there. Okay, good, good, good. Everybody's happy because, you know, it's the first week. So now we have to make the show. We got the current championship right there. United States Championship is going to be on the line. We're not going to propose any trades and stuff. Free agency. The boogeyman right there. The hottest free agent. Who wouldn't want the boogeyman? Who wouldn't want the boogeyman? Most popularity. He's the hottest free agent on the roster. It's amazing. We're not going to get him. Sadly. I know. I know what you're thinking. Why aren't you going to get him? But yeah, because we want to buy some of these. We want to buy some of these already. Out of the gate, we just want to do it. We want to buy some. These are the um extra storyline writers so that we can get more storylines and do good. Um, Cruiserweight Collide, that's kind of the only reason I want that. Kind of the only reason I want that guy. Um, Okay, we don't want any of that. We don't want that. Oh, wait. Yeah, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Isn't this like... No, that's not what we want. Uh, we want this one, because that's David Garai and Cheating Girlfriend, which is going to be good for Melina and Johnny Nitro for their stuff. Uh, Battle of Titans, Returning Legend, and Kidnapping, who cares? Let's just do that. Okay, good, good, good. 850,000, we're doing okay. Not the best as the starting goes on. Let me just check out our people. Yeah, they're all good. Okay, let's just get straight into it. We gotta find a United States champion. That's gonna be what we have to do. First off, let's just do the merchandise sells, because I think they give you more than the advertisement promote thing. Yes, I think so. But now we wanna build up somebody. Who do we wanna build up as the next big star? I would say Johnny Nitro, but I think I feel like Johnny Nitro is gonna do just fine. It's just the first week. We have fifty one others to choose from. Which means 51 other episodes. So, yeah. Strap yourself in. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Um, actually, no. There's going to be 51 and then like plus 7 or something for the pay reviews. So, that should be fun. But, yeah. Okay. So, Rey Mysterio. No. We want John Cena. No. And I, I'm thinking Edge. I'm thinking Edge. Because I want Edge to be the guy for the title. I feel like Edge is going to be... Our contender for the, our world heavyweight champion. It's going to be beautiful. So that's what you're going to get right there. So, recap of the card. we got Triple H versus Edge. Super Crazy versus Kane. Psychosis versus The Big Show. JBL and Gregory Helms versus Chavo Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. First Blood match with Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton. And the United States Championship Hardcore Fatal 4-Way. Between Carlito, Johnny Nitro, Chris Benoit, and John Cena. So, we're going to play this match and this match, which is going to be nice. Sadly, no velocity matches, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And it's fine. Okay. I feel like I feel like this show might just be the thing that kicks us off. We're gonna, and also, we're going to play... So, yeah. We're going to play as Edge in this matchup just so Edge can win. That's my goal now is Edge to win his matchup so that he looks good going into his matchup with Shawn Michaels in the future. It's going to be nice. It's going to be pretty good. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, God, there's the hottest free agent, the boogeyman, as you can see. He's the hottest free agent on the roster. It's pretty amazing. Pretty great, but we're not, we don't have you, sadly. But it's fine. It's not on our roster, but on the game's roster. Which is okay. Which is okay. You're okay, Boogeyman. You're okay. You're okay. But yeah. So yeah, this video might be a little bit longer than um other videos. It's just because we had the draft in the beginning, which is like 10 minutes in itself. Or ish. So yeah, here he comes. It's the game. 
Triple H. We're not going to watch the entire thing because that would be so boring. But yeah. And then the rated R superstar. Where are you? There. Come on. Come on. There's the fist of glory. The fist of glory is right there. Waiting for Edge to come out. There he is. The rock star, basically. The rated R superstar Edge in his arena of a place that I don't I don't quite remember. But yeah, so the commentary is on. Just remember that. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun indeed. I don't know why the screen's dark. That's really annoying. Because is it? Because it only is sometimes, but then not other times. So is the screen just darker for you guys? I can't quite tell. Can't quite tell. Whatever. Let's do this. Triple H and Edge. Triple H in one corner, Edge in the other. Let's do this. Edge, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, let you watch the matches, because watching them in this game specifically is super boring. Like, in the newer games, it's a lot better to watch the matches. It's more fun. But in just, in the old WWE games, you're really boring. They're so goddamn boring. So yeah, I'm gonna play them all just squash match everybody. Which is nice, you know, that's what you like to see is a squash match every now and then, especially against the man Triple H. Okay, especially against Triple H. Then punching them in the face, kapow, kapow, kapow. And then, oh yeah, dude, that leg drop of doom. That's what you, that's what just happened. And then, eh, and then, eh, and then, eh, oh look, oh look, what did I do, what did I do? You don't even know where I am, I disappeared. Disappeared and then bulldogged you, bro. Gave you a little bulldog. And he punched my nads, man. You see that ref referee? You saw that. He punched me in the natters. And then just tripped me? Look at that. Triple H is a big bully. He's a meanie. He's hurting my feelings. Okay? <laughs> and then, oh, look. Edge just hit the spear. It's gotta be over. Edge hits the spear. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's gotta be over. Cover one, two, three. Triple H kicks out of the spear. How do you even do that? That's like impossible. That's basically impossible. You don't kick out of the spear, Triple H. I am Edge. Whee! Boom. Oh, you suck. I thought I had that. I thought I hit that perfectly. But no. He's just like, I, I don't I don't let you. Me know that you hurt you. Me know that you hurt me. And then boom, low blow. You saw nothing, referee. I didn't do no low blows. I did none of the low blows, okay? But we're going for the cover just off that nice punch to the stomach. And sadly, he kicked out of it. Can I or can I not complain to the ref? I can't. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. It is fine. And another bulldog, because why not? Just completely squashing the game here. Just punching the face and again and again. And again. And then a punch. And the punch. And again. And then a punch again. And then a boom. And then another punch in the face. Now look at this. Look at this. Oh, tr Edge. Ultimate opportunity is making him do a backflip. Making him do a standing backflip. Pretty athletic by Triple H there. <laughs> That's not a big deal to take a next. And then if I do this from the middle. We got from the top of the body of Triple H. We got, we got this. We got this. And then the spear out of nowhere taking down the game. It's over. It's over. So, just go for the cover. Go for the cover now. One, two, two. And Edge winning the first ever matchup on Friday Night Smackdown. There you can see Matt Hardy just standing like, what's up? I love you. But, um, yeah. I'm really excited for this universe mode. Not gonna lie. Not universe mode. This GM mode. This isn't universe mode. That's the new GM mode, but worse. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited for this show that we have for, you know, just, just all this in general. It's pretty great. It's pretty great, in my opinion. I, um, got Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 years ago, but then the disc broke, and I just got it back over Christmas, which was, you know, for you guys, probably a while back. But still, I don't care. And then now I can just, just chillax and stuff and have it done. So, yeah, now we're going to have the main event. We're going to have Carlito, Johnny Nitro, Chris Benoit, and John Sheena. 
Okay, hardcore fatal four-way United States Championship match. Who am I going to be? Who am I going to be? Who do I want to be my United States Champion? I want it to be John and Nitro. Johnny freaking Nitro. I know I said earlier, oh, wait, I have five weeks to do that. I don't care. Johnny Nitro is going to be your United States Champion. And it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Woo, Ric Flair. But, yeah. <laughs> It got a little weird for a second. But who cares? Who cares? It's the... It's Ric Flair. 16-time champ. Currently tied with John Reagan Cena. As the number of times the world champion has been held. Meaning, Ric Flair has lost it 16 times. As John Cena has lost it 15 times as of this recording. Because he hasn't lost an Elimination Chamber yet. Although, when this comes out, he might have already lost it. I'm not entirely sure. You can see the buns. Of Carlito there, as, as you saw, that was pretty hot. The apples were as O's on his booty. On his booty O's. Oh my god, oh my god, booty O's. <laughs> I didn't mean that to happen, but it did. And there he comes, Johnny Nitro. You know why I like to see Johnny Nitro wear a belt? It's because they made a special entrance for him in this, in this game, where it goes over his crotch. And I don't know why. I thought that was the greatest thing in the world. That was, like, the most creative thing and jerky way to, like, come out with a title belt. I thought that was, like, dang. Dang, Johnny Nitro. Dang. That's what I thought. That's what That was me. That was me. But, yeah. Okay. And now, making his way to the ring in the darkly lit arena. WWE take notice. It's the man... Known as John Cena with the stupidest walk in entrance history. <laughs> he walks so stupid. He's like, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, look at me. I'm cool. I'm swaggy guy. I'm a swaggerton. Yeah, man. I'm white. <laughs> but here he comes, John Cena. making Coming back to his original home of Friday Night Smackdown, of course. And there he is, John Cena. But yeah, I like SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 GM mode more because of the fact that it's like, how do I explain it? Like, the GM mode itself, you can't cheat it, really. You have to do it legit. Okay, you have to do the GM mode legit. And I like that. I like that you have to do it legitly. Legitimately. Because it, like, it's like, yeah, you should be doing it legitimate, legitimately. But yeah, okay, whatever. WWE logo, old WWE logo anyways. And here we go. John Cena, big bulldog. Ch Johnny Nitro already has the sledgehammer to take down his opponent. Right to the... I was going to hit you right in the face and you didn't let me. You didn't let me hit him right in the face, John. How dare you? Didn't let me hit him right in the face. I was supposed to hit him in the face and boom, right to the, right to the back of the head. Now get, because you didn't let me hit him in the face. And now, oh, roll up. Roll up, pinning submission, but the referee just doesn't care. That is the worst referee. That is the worst referee. I'm going to do it again and see what the referee does this time. One, two. No, I thought it was a roll up. I thought it was over. But no, and now I'm complaining to the referee like a true heel. Like a true heel. And then, boom, take it. Oh my god, he took down the referee. No DQ. Oh wait, it's a fatal four-way match. Although... You know, sometimes it's weird, and there's DQs in Final Four-Way matches for some reason. Apparently, WWE, make up your mind. Oh, whatever. Can I just, can I just hit you in the... Just let go of the sledgehammer. I want to do cool animation-y stuff. Jerk. Whatever. Carlito, you're going to be my guy, because you're the only one hurt, currently. Come on, who wants me? Who wants the Johnny Nitro? Who wants the man Johnny... Oh, whoa. Hey, I guess this guy wants Johnny Nitro. Look at that. You're up at the stage. You're going up to the stage. No, no, I already kicked out Chris Benoit. I kicked out Chris Benoit out of his booth. And look at this. Look at those. Did you see that? Look at Johnny Nitro. Wee! Wee! Look, hey, Chris. What do you want? You want me? You want the Johnny? You want the big J? You want the big N? Big old J and N. Okay, I'm, one, I'm part of the New Age Outlaws, apparently. Boom, hit you on the back. Just beautiful. Okay, Johnny. Johnny, you're gonna love this. Oh, I bet you love that. Oh, I bet you love that feeling. I do. I do when I do that. And boom! Super kick switch music. 
That's another match I want to see in this GM mode. We're going to have Nitro versus, versus the one and only Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully that's a thing that happens. Hopefully. For that world champion. Even more, hopefully. I don't know. But let's see this. Nitro hits him there with that maneuver, taking him down the cover. One, two. No, John Cena stops the count. Hurting my one true feeling of depression. Making me sad. And now Chris Benoit has got the steel chair. Oh, this isn't good for John Nitro, but John Nitro stops him. Carlito and John Cena battling on the outside. Afro man. Rainbow, Afro, Afro, Rainbow. What's the thing from Madagascar? You know, the one that sucked. Like all of them. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. It's not, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite thing. But yeah, John F. Friggin' Nacho has got another hardcore bat. He's got that hardcore bat going after Chris Benoit. This is not good for Chris Benoit. John, Chris Benoit, there we go. Finally letting me do the maneuver. Jeez, you're being a jerky hole. You're being a jerk face. But whatever. It's fine. Come on. Come on, Chris. Christopher. Super kick to the face. It's gotta be over. Look at him, he's dead. John, John Cena, you want to go back to the outside, buddy? You want to go back to the outside, buddy? You don't? Okay, well, I'm just going to go for the pin anyways. One, two. Oh, come on, I was hoping that it would be a little slow with the thingy, with the sledgehammer. And now Carlito. Carly, no! Carly, no! That's your name now, Carly, no! Oh, woo! Chopped to the chest by Chris Benoit. But no, I'm the guy who hurts Chris Benoit. Okay? Johnny Nitro. You're, you're getting a butt kicked by the John. John versus John. That's what we just saw. John versus John in the John. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Chris, Chris Benoit on the outside, resting himself. And then, oh, clothesline by Carlito. The John Seals face hole. And now, hey, don't attack me. Don't attack me, buddy, because you have a finisher. Who wants me? Who wants me? Hey, you have a steel chair, don't you? You have a steel chair right in your hand, huh? Well, now you don't, because now it's mine. No, it's, no, no, no. It was supposed to be mine. I'd like to clarify that that was supposed to be mine. And then, um, things happened. And then it wasn't mine. And then, boom! Busting Chris Benoit right the frick open. And now, ah, hit you with the chair. You just, like, fell back. It's like, I don't know what to do. I'm an old man. <laughs> Whatever. Chris, Chris Benoit is dead, man. In the game. It, oh, God. Okay. Stuff happened. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say it. Oh, God. I was just stating facts. I didn't mean to state that one because that's depressing. But, uh oh. I'm sad now. I'm sad. I'm sad. Whatever. Super kick taking him down. He's got to be over. It's got to be over, ladies and gentlemen. And now Carl Carlito. Carlito. What is that finisher? Where's your backstabber, man? That's the finisher. The backstabber is Carlito's finisher. I don't care what you ask anybody. And then, boom. And then, oh, right to... And now he's going after the ref. John Cena, heel turn confirmed. Went right the frick after the wef. The wef? The wef wee <laughs> You went after the wef wee Oh, my God. <laughs> eh. But yeah. Oh no, I kinda like this little this you, you took out the weffle wee, okay? You, that's not gonna work. No matter how much I want it to work, it it wouldn't work. And now see, you know, it, uh, How do you like it? How do you like it, Carlito? You don't like thought no. <sighs> Dang it referee You piece of crap. Oh my god, you shouldn't have been in my way. Okay, that's... There's no one else's fault but the referees, okay? Nobody else. There we go, I got I got Benoit now. I got the... Benoit... No! You suck! Uh... Okay, store that finisher for later. Who's the most hurt? Okay, Cena. Cena, I, I, need, I need you. I need you, buddy. Super kick. You're dead. You're dead. Take that. 
and then oh right to right to Cena again. Okay, I bet you didn't Cena John that coming. Shut up, Dominic, you idiot. Okay. Oh, right to the face hole of Ben Wall. But yeah. Eh. Going for the cover. Oh, roll up pin on Mr. Kali to one, two, three. No. Only a two count game? How dare you? How dare you? Oh, roll up cover on John Cena once again. No. You suck. You know, I'm gonna get the pin on somebody. I'm gonna get the pin on somebody. And he hits a backstabber on the Chris Benoit. Now we gotta, we gotta break up the pin, John. There we go. And then, no, game, don't do that. Do it the other one. Okay, you know what? This isn't, this isn't, I just want to win the match now. I just want to win the match. This isn't fun. Okay. Boom. Taking that guy down. And then, eh. And then, eh. Take your thing. And then, eh. Uh, di uh. John! John, you hurt my feeling. No. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah! Oh, God, Cena's busted wide open. It's over. Come on. Come on. Dang it! Chris, don't do that to me. You hurt my feeling. I'm gonna complain to the ref now. Because he fully deserves it. He totally deserved it. For something. For... Oh, boom. For getting hit with the chair a lot. That's what he deserves it for. But you know what? You know what? Oh, right to the eye. Right to the eye of the ref, too. Because, you know, he doesn't need to see. He doesn't need to see for me to count to three. And then... Oh, come on. You guys, stop. There we go. Taking him down. Jeez, Carlito. Jeez, Carlito. G.A.'s, Carlito. Hurting his feeling. Okay. And now look at that. Look at that. Being mean to the ref a wee. Why would he be mean to the ref a wee like that? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, Nitro, get up. Okay, Monday Nitro. One one of you needs to, like, attack the other person. The referee needs to get up. So I can do a roll-up and win the matchup. Okay. Just want one of these guys. There we go. I'm on. I'm after John. I mean, Benoit should go after the other guy, obviously. But no. Okay. Ben. Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben. No. Uh, take a. Carlito. Carlito. Carlito! Young man! He's gonna win the match. He's gonna win the match off. Oh, come on. One. Two. Oh, barely kicking out of that. Thought it was a three count. I thought that was it. And now, and now Chris Benoit going for the cup. Okay, now Chris is going for the cup. Okay. Gonna be over there. That was over. And then one of you gets taken. Carlito, you you need to stop. Carlito has like so much less. Yes, the least amount of health, or like the most amount of health than anybody. What the heck? Least or most? I don't know. He's the most not a hurt. English has been spoken. And then back suplex to the to the Mr. John. Okay. Okay, Carlito, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick you in the stomach so I can super kick you in the face. There we go. And then he gets up immediately! No selling that! He straight up no sold that what are you Oh man, I thought that was it. I thought that was seriously it. He straight up no sold it. He straight up no sold my freaking super kick. That's my finisher. You don't no sell Johnny Nitro! Okay, and that's what happens if you know so Johnny Nitro, ref. I'm just giving you a proper example of what happens. Oh my god. This is this is ridiculously long. This is a ridiculously long fatal four away. Okay. One. Two. No, it wouldn't have been one and a half count. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna super kick you in the face again. Oh, I'm complaining to the referee and stopping the count. I didn't mean to. No. And, uh, no. No, stop it! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! NITRO! WHAT ARE YOU DOING, YOUNG MAN?! YOU COMPLETELY JUST SUCKED! WHY DID I JUST COMPLETELY SUCK?! THAT WAS BAD! THAT WAS A BAD THING! THAT WAS A VERY BAD THING, MAN! NITRO PERSON, WHY WOULD YOU DO THAT?! LOOK AT THAT! NOW CARLITO! CARLITO THE NEW 
United States, WWE United States Champion, Johnny Nitro. Johnny Nitro. You could have easily broken up that pin. Okay, but you didn't. Chris Benoit, bloody, beaten, battered, destroyed. Carlito, not even busted open. No selling my super kick. Super Carlito, that's his name now, Super Carlito. Freaking no selling my super kick. What a first ever episode to this WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 series. Let's simulate all the matches and then see what happens afterward. Okay, if this will load. Because it's WWE in 2007. It's the paid station too. So it's going to be super stuff. Okay. And then simulate them all. Super Crazy beats Kane. Psychosis beats the big show. That's very surprising. Th these are very surprising wins. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Um, next. JBL and Gregory Helms beats Chavo and Rey Mysterio. Shawn Michaels does beat Randy Orton. Shawn Michaels the only face on the card to win a matchup. That's sad. Everybody else was a heel. Everybody else was a heel. That's kind of sad. But whatever. Who won? SmackDown wins the ratings this week with 80,000. That's right. We're not going. We're going hard on Raw. We're going to win. Look at that. That's a two-star Raw rating. What? What even is that? SmackDown rating? That's three. Look at that awesomeness. Okay, new champion. We got Carlito wins the matchup main event. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. We got match of the week. Look at that. We got a great match enjoyed by all. We got Edge. And then the Undertaker. Who cares about the Undertaker? We only care about freaking Shawn Michaels. And that's our guy, dude. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen. What an episode. What a start. Yeah, we know the low on cash. Why are we even lower on cash than we started? What? I don't get that. Oh, well. Okay. Let's see. John Cena's hurt. Yeah, Carlito's hurt. Chris Benoit is hurt. And then Nitro is going up. How did, how did Nitro go up? Hmm. Intermesting. Intermesting. But yeah. Let's, um, yeah, I'm going to save that for the next episode. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Please let us know in the comments. And if I asked you a comment question, please let me answer that, too. Hit the like button if you liked it. Of course, click that little subscribe button if you haven't already and you enjoy what we do. And if you really enjoy what we do and you want to support us even more, hit that little bell to get notified of everything we do here on the Bad Wrestling Channel. Well, have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Bye-bye!